Well, a very good evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is a barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have got a great interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of uh, excitement and expectation. The Emirates awash with red and white, a sea of Arsenal, just as you would anticipate. It appears to be a 4-4-2 formation, Jim. Well, the modern version of that is a lot more fluid and flexible than in bygone times. There is a much greater understanding of the need for players to cover forward running at and enables risk-taking while the gaps are filled. I'm, I'm very much a fan of it. There are a lot of people who seem to have kind of ignored it and just put it to bed, but it still works. It's still valid. And I think we're going to see it be successful here. A most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper. And no, Bamian! It's anyone's ball. That's Mkhitaryan. Can he score? Very speculative with little threat, if any, for the keeper. Kenny, Sessegnon, Mustafi gets into the right position to intercept. Oh, and he's asking too much with that. Monreal. Mesut Ozil. And it's Lacazette. And that's a foul, free kick's been given. <laughs> Missed by a fraction. He is wayward. Oh, Peter. Kenny. Sherlock gets into some space. For Pastathopoulos. Xhaka plays it forward. Now it's Mitrovic. Decent looking ball. Yeah, that does look a foul. Referee's given a free kick. Yeah, well, they were exposed and, and vulnerable, and he knew he had to do something to prevent a goal then. He's having a go. Oh, well done for him to take the shot on. He did He's at least. Mention. Granit Xhaka. Mitrovic. Sessegnon. Schurler gets flagged offside. And it's Ozil. Now it's Aubameyang. He's got away. Trout calling for him to shoot. Breakthrough. A truly wonderful strike, decorated with dip and curl. Yeah, and it's not a surprise to see him elect to shoot from there, considering how much movement can be generated on the ball. Great hit. Arsenal take the lead, 1-0. 
Yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. Now it's Mitrovic. Good defending there, they've slammed the door in the faces of the opposition. He's made certain that won't get through. Rico sends that a long way. Oh, he's broken through. Has a swing at it! And he's there to make a great save. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. And it's hoisted clear. Oh, that's a foul in a dangerous area. And that's going to be a booking. Well, the protest continues, but in the end, they are defending the indefensible. Well, I think the alternative was to stand there and, and do Ozil nothing. Like... With a chance here to increase their lead. Ozil! With... Ozil! Oh, it's a stunning goal! A finish right from the top draw. All too easy. They are in danger of disappearing out of sight. Dispatched expertly. Nicely done. Arsenal get themselves a two-goal cushion. Well, unsurprisingly, Peter, the opposition looked completely stunned. I'm not sure they can gather themselves. Looks to clip it forward. Hits one! Really well taken goal. Deep into first half stoppage time, a crucial goal. Perfect placement, the one place the keeper couldn't reach. Well, you know, sometimes it pays off not to think too much about things, just put your foot through it and... That was a good example, great contact, and the keeper had very little chance. And the whistle goes for half-time. So a really good half of football, three goals and just one separating them. Well, it's still anyone's game, as, as both sides have shown they have goals in them. As for the next one, should it arrive, um, that may have a bigger bearing as to who emerges victorious. Very little in it. The score at half time is two goals to one. We're promptly into the second 45 minutes. There really wasn't very much in that. Far away from being a telling final ball. Ah, quality deserted them when they really needed it. Oh, that's nice. So who's he picking out? Oh, that is a terrific save! Clears it out of harm's way. Fulham have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt. And Mitrovic! Good stop. That wasn't easy. Mitrovic sparked a tremendous stop there, and I think it's fair to add he just wasn't expecting it. Look at the defender bombing forward. He's left his man. Mawson boots it to safety. Pietro tries to get it forward quick. No, he's not played the ball, that's a foul. Torreira. Fulham have made their intentions clear by leaving men up front. Looking to play on the break? Yeah, it's obvious that they're prepared to take a, a risk or two. Pietro. Can he finish? But this is exactly the approach they have to take now, Peter. Well, this isn't the time to talk about risks now. Schurla! He's done very well to get to that. Schurla really must have felt he had the measure of the keeper then, but how wrong he was. Licksteiner. Lacazette. Licksteiner. Lacazette. Beats the offside trap. Keeps everyone guessing. Oh, and he's got good distance. Who's chasing? Granit Xhaka. Could move up a gear here. Mitrovic eyeing that space. Oh, well played. He's taken that really cleanly. 
Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. Nacho, can he put it away? Johansson spreads it towards the left. And he's certainly caught him there, it's a free kick. He knew what was coming, that's a yellow card. It was, it was a sterling effort, and at least he kept it on target. It was, yeah, it was worth a go. Nick Steiner. Well, that's where he wants it. Arsenal. And that will be the final act. Arsenal win it by the odd goal. Almost nothing in it. Perhaps a draw would have felt fairer. But that's the game, and they have won it at the margin. What are your thoughts on today's game then, Jim? Yeah, and a result that was true to form. A big team beating a, a not-so-big team, and a lesson dealt. All that remains for me is to thank Jim Beglin. That's it from us tonight. A very good evening to